Hello again, everyone. Marcus here. I review stuff today. I'm reviewing the song, The Dying Song, Time to Sing by Slipknot. Um, and so, for once, this song is not a request, nor is it part of my 500 Greatest Albums of All Time series. This is just a song that I saw when I was on YouTube, and it was like, hey, look, Slipknot re released a song a few days ago. So I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to listen to it. So, you know, I'm a, I'm a pretty decent fan of Slipknot. I've been listening to them for 20, 25 years now, whatever. Uh, I remember first hearing them on the radio back in the day, you know, with Duality and Wait and Bleed and stuff like that. That would get a good amount of radio play. So, um just, uh, you know, I've been a fan. I, I really liked uh, their last album, uh, We Are Not Your Kind. A lot of great songs off of that one. So just really excited to jump into more Slipknot. Saw that it had a new song, and I was like, i got to listen to some more Slipknot. So let's do it. Again, this is The Dying Song, Time to Sing by Slipknot. I think I got the official music video, maybe. I guess we'll find out. It's probably going to get blocked. And oh, look, it's number four on Trending for Music. That's pretty cool. Uh, I have bad luck with music videos. They always seem to get blocked. So I'm sorry if you have to see it like grayed out here. But uh, it is what it is. Let's jump into it. Here we go. Looks like that uh, skin from uh, Doctor Who. <laughs> oh God, it's horrible. It's horrifying. You guys know what I'm talking about with the Christopher Eccleston doctor? And like that's like mo that moisturized me, that lady. That's what it looks like. Put your hands into the water. Let your mouth go sick and dry. Put your life into your death now. Let them sing till you die. Die!
I like that. <laughs> Moisturize me. That's what they're about to do. The song was pretty good. song was really good actually I, I like that a whole lot man fucking uh cory taylor i'm bad at names cory taylor's new like uh mask freaks me out <laughs> it's terrifying uh but yeah i like that a whole lot you know uh i don't typically run in like metal circles online i like heavy metal um but I don't typically engage with a lot of like me heavy metal communities, and I think the big part of it is the gatekeeping, right? And I see a lot of it around bands like Slipknot and Ghost and stuff like that, bands that I typically really enjoy. Um, for whatever reason, it's not real metal, it's not heavy enough, whatever. I feel like this was plenty heavy, and I've heard heavier. I mean, don't get me wrong, but uh, if this isn't metal, I, I mean, I don't know what is. I think if you took this song and you and you sat someone who's not a metalhead down and had them listen to it, it would still be pretty unpalatable for them because they're you know they may not enjoy metal you know it, i i know plenty of people in my life who when there's metal playing they just tune it out it is not for them this is exactly the kind of song that they would they would tune out i feel like metal is more of like a feeling you know this was heavy enough to just get me you know head banging a little bit i really enjoyed this one to me that's that's metal you know so uh, i don't know i'm just commenting on uh, this was recently that i saw some like slipknot gatekeeping and stuff like that where they're just like oh not real metal blah 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 and it's just like come on y'all just listen to the music and enjoy it and if it makes you feel a certain way that's what's important you know again the fact that i could jam out to this and have a good time that's what's important so Anyway, yeah, enjoyed the song. Let's break it down piece by piece like we always do, of course, starting with the lyrics. So, uh, it says here, put your hands into the water, let your mouth go sick and dry. Put your life into your death now, let them sing until you die, die, die. Uh, radical rather than rhetorical, babble like an oracle. Why am I always in your debt? Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost, communist, comatose, show me all the waiters are a bet. The middle of a nuclear winter is a modern achievement of the retro-apocalyptic horde. It's, it's interesting because like the words are saying things, but it almost seems like it, it's just different ideas kind of being thrown around here. Satan, you must be mistaken. There are no more Satans, only the bosses on the board. Damn, that is a fantastic line that I didn't even recognize the first time. Satan, you must be mistaken. There are no more Satans, only the bosses on the board. I love that. So maybe this is sort of a condemnation of perhaps our... our uh, modern society or perhaps capitalism again talks about debt there um mentions communist comatose um all the wages are a bet the middle of nuclear winter is a modern achievement of the retro apocalyptic horde again maybe uh, if it's a criticism of capitalism of what have you then it's just like yeah nuclear winter that's an achievement because we're making profit still or something i don't know uh, but I love this line here. Forget, deny, ignore, nice try. It's you. Regret, rely, remorse inside of you. Yeah. Maybe you've been down too long. Maybe you've been down too long. The heart begins to suffer when the soul has given up. Also, another great line. The heart begins to suffer when the soul has given up. And the flesh is barely more than bone. When, <clears throat> when no one else is listening, only when you've had enough. Time to sing this dying song alone. Put your hands into the water. Let your mouth go sick and dry. Put your life into your death now. Let them sing till you die. So I think this, this this part here is all about like kind of standing up for yourself. But sometimes you know you wait too long, right? Where you've already begun to suffer. You've uh, your soul has already given up. Your flesh is you know barely hanging onto the bone. It's like you waited too long to speak up. Maybe you've been down too long. Maybe you've been down too long. And there it is, right there. You know, maybe it's maybe you don't have anything left in the tank to fight back with. 
think hard, you bastards. You're going to tell me why. If I don't get an answer, you're going to sing and die. Think hard, you bastards. You're going to tell me why. If I don't get an answer, you're going to sing and die. The heart begins to suffer when the soul is given up and the flesh is barely more than bone. When no one else is listening, only when you've had enough. Time to sing this dying song alone. Put your hands into the water. Let your mouth go sick and dry. Put your life into your death. Now let them sing until you die. Put your hands into the water. Yeah, it kind of goes on like that. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. What did the artist said about the song, Corey Taylor? To me, it's just it just seems like it's all the outrage and none of the punishment. For the last few years, it's been very trendy to be offended and outraged by everything, and yet nothing happens. Ah, oh, that makes a lot of sense when I think about the lyrics. That makes a lot of sense, especially in my country, which is just fucking ridiculous. It's almost like the tables have turned, and the more angry people get, the more the people who they're mad at just double down on the shit. Instead of there being cause and effect or crime and punishment, now it's just like, fuck you, we don't care. And it's almost like people are ringing the, ringing the doomsday bell. You're sitting there going, well, it's been fun, everybody. Everybody pick up your trash when you're leaving, and I'll see you in hell. Uh, that's kind of what that song is. It's just like, if we don't figure it out, I'll see you when the meteor hits, basically. It's like, if you motherfuckers want to kill each other, go ahead. I'm just going to stand back and will not be in the line of fire because I'm tired of the idiocy. I can only watch stupid shit for for fucking so long. So yeah, it's me basically going, go ahead, just fucking beat the living shit out of each other. And we see what happens. Well, okay, and I guess that was with an interview with, uh, with Loudwire. Cool. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, it looks like they're releasing another album here pretty soon if, if it's not out already. So cool. Looking forward to that. I guess it's not out because all these say unreleased on them so far. But <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, that makes a lot of sense now. Looking back into the to the song, and it's just like because it because it he talks about right like what if you waited too long? What if you're too worn down to fight back? And so he's essentially saying like stop being offended, stop you know crying about it, and do something about it. You know, um, and I, I think that I mean I, I think that's a fantastic message in this day and age. I think he hit the nail on the head that. So much of our internet culture exists to get you angry, right? The way articles are written, the way headlines are written, it's to generate clicks, it's to uh, get you upset so you engage with the content more. And and this is, I'm not a both sides type of person, but this is something that does happen on both sides. You know, headlines directed at more liberal people, again, still invoke that sense of anger, just as headlines uh, targeted more towards conservative people do. It's the same thing. Um... And typically, the people are getting angry, but what is being done about it, you know? Um, and, and I think he hits the nail on the head. A lot of us, myself included, sometimes I find myself saying, like, man, everything's kind of fucked, and there's nothing I can do about it. And so I'm just kind of miserable. I think about that a lot when it comes to, like, climate change. Like, there are still people in this world who who don't think that climate change is real. And if they do think it's real, they don't care Um and it's, it's to the point where it's like the individual human being can only do so much to offset their CO2 and their pollution, all, you know, all that stuff. We really need action in the sense of like getting corporations and millionaires and billionaires and what it's just, but it becomes so hopeless. It's like, there's literally nothing I can do. Um, and so it's just like, I'm just going to sit here, you know, like he said, like, peace out guys, I'll see you in hell. Uh, that's what it feels like sometimes. Um, But he's saying, like, no, don't just sit back and take it. Like, stand up before it's too late. So I I definitely dig that. You know, it's funny because I recently listened to Alter Bridge, Pawns, and Kings, and I feel like it had that same message. Like, yes, we're pawns, but if we stand up and fight, we can be kings. I listened to Muse recently, Will the People Won't Stand Down. I haven't listened to their newest uh, one that I saw on YouTube the other day uh, yet, but I feel like a lot of the rock and roll coming out right now, a lot of that metal coming out right now is like stand up and fight, like take control of your life, stand up for what you believe in, like push back uh, against the people who control you, that kind of thing. So I'm like, I mentioned it in the Alter Bridge review that I, I think it's kind of being a recurring theme right now and now mentioning it, uh, mentioning it, mentioning it oof, again here in the Slipknot video again because it's it has that same theme. I think it's going to be a huge theme uh, this year after all the shit we've been through. <laughs> it's like, hey, stand up and fight for yourself, that kind of thing. So, you know, lyrically very poignant, very timely. Uh, and I think it was also really just well written. There were some lines in there that I thought were really cool. So two big thumbs up for me um, lyrically. As far as the instrumentation goes, really enjoyed this one. Again, uh, I thought it was was plenty heavy. Enjoyed the guitar. Enjoyed the bass. Bass had some some fun in there. I, I heard it. Um, 
The drumming was fantastic. Got some double bass in the drums. Um, everything, I think, to, it was a Slipknot song, you know, so it was heavy. It had some uh, kind of um, turntable scratchiness. It had some nice drumming. Uh, Corey Taylor, I thought, brought the intensity still at his age uh, for as many years as they've been doing that. Really brought the intensity in the vocals, uh, but his singing voice is just as good. So uh, instrumentally, vocally, this one was really cool. Giving it two big thumbs up there. Really uh, a good intro for me to the album. I don't know if they've released anything else from it yet. But for me, a good intro to the album. Um, and then as far as replay value goes, again, I enjoy me some Slipknot. And so this this was definitely one to enjoy. And it's for sure going to go on the playlist. And I can't wait to listen to it again. It's nice and intense. I can see myself listening to it a lot. You know, I've been, I've been in sort of a metal renaissance. I, I have like peaks and valleys like there are some times where i'm like i want to listen to metal i want it i want it heavy 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 all the time that's kind of where i'm at right now then there are other times where i'm like okay i want something more chill uh i'm gonna push away my heavy metal for a little bit and just kind of explore more pop or what have you right right now i'm in that heavy metal phase so this is this is definitely going to get some plays also before i forget i have to mention the dj i forget uh like uh, he used to be pinhead i think or whatever but he was like doing something where he was like moving his fingers and it was causing that thing to at least that's what it looked like and i was like that looks really freaking cool i just got that out there anyway two thumbs up for replay value overall a fantastic song Really glad I decided to check this one out. Let me know if you want to hear more from this album or more from Slipknot. Leave it in the comments as always. I'll be sure to add it to my list. And while you're down there, you can uh, you know, like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, all that good stuff that you do. Um, you can also check the description to follow me on Twitch, Twitter, or TikTok. And hey, if you enjoyed the music, go support the artists. Go listen to their music wherever you can. All right, guys, that's going to be it for me. I really hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.